If it ain't sh not coming out, it's fine. Yeah, there's no sh coming out, no, but somebody fine. made a post. What are these things called? Tin snips? So I ordered tin snips, I guess, right? That's what it's called? Yeah. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, what are you going to cut it? I'm going to cut it, and I, I mean, I'm not going to put metal. I'm just going to take, just like I did here, I'm going to put duct tape and just freaking hold it together with duct tape. Let's see. I can't. Because that riveted it, right? Is that what they're called? They're like, little, yeah. Okay. All you do is take a little bit of drill yeah. and put a little drill bit on it and just go on in the middle of it and pop them all out. And they will come out. Okay, this will cut with. Okay, yeah, that I will need cut to put that. The phone down. Oh, dude, this is not f***ing easy. That's not cutting that easy. I'm just gonna bend this in, man. Forget that. That's not cutting that easy. I see there's some, there's a wire or something. Yeah, cable. that's why I put the tape there because as I was driving, the wires came out. Okay. And they were dragging. All right. You know what? I'm not. Let me let me get on any bit. Let me take a look. Maybe all you might want to do is um. I'm gonna f***ing hammer it in. I got a knife. You can hammer it in and yeah. see that piece of metal you got over there. You took off the RV? Yeah. You can put it there and, and, and screw it up to this with some... I'm not... I'm just going to use duct tape. Use duct tape? Yeah. Yeah, as long as that wire don't hang out. Yeah, exactly. Just, That's just, the only thing. Let me... See, See these things cut, but you know what? I, or I'll just... Put, I'll just duct tape it the way it is. Why are you going under the thin part? Dude? Look, look, come... What, what? What are you going to do? Yeah, but I'm not going to cut it. What? It, no, I need like pliers to pull that in. Okay, if you get a hammer and a piece of wood, yeah. we'll put it here and tap it and bring it back to more or less where it's supposed or to be. Or I just duct tape it exactly the way it is and call it a day. Yeah. You can do that too. <laughs> I just need to clean the metal here because it won't stick if I... But I think if you tap it with a piece of wood, you could get it close enough where you put duct tape on it. So you can't get rid of the reflectors, then they won't. Well, I'm getting, I'm gonna use duct tape. You need those reflectors so people can see. What <laughs> are okay, you doing? You're getting rid of the good parts. You got a little hammer? Yeah. Let's tap that. Let me get a piece of wood. Let's this piece of wood back here. So Stop it, bring it as close as we can. All I need is to open this valve and shit falls over. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the shit valve over there. That that your mouth open? That would not be hilarious. Oh, this ain't working. I didn't get I didn't get anything done, but I already scraped my back and cut my leg. <laughs> well, the applications are on the left drawer. Where are you going? I'm gonna do some work. Look, I already did it with this. Yeah, you can do it with that. Look how easy it is. Yeah, dude, that ain't gonna do shit. Pull it. Pull what? With the pliers. Pull it with the pliers. Yeah, so. Pull what this? I did already. Look, but that's all it does. It just bends in the edges. No. Dude, the hammer doesn't do shit. Like nothing. This is not a real hammer, dude. This is what I bought my kids when they were five years old. Well, I still have it since then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your first hammer. <laughs> Take a look at it. Good enough. Plenty of room for duct tape. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it there, bro. Looks like you know, you're not another carpenter. See that? Okay. Just bang that up, that piece. Yeah. Okay, well, see, let me see some. Okay. 
They got some styrofoam there. Damn. Hey, it makes for a great YouTube video. Right? So who do we have here? Hey, hey, Ethe, we just got my cousin out of the back of this shit here, man. <laughs> <laughs> we brought the whole entire family. Now we all together in America. Don't tell anybody where Don't we are. Don't tell nobody anywhere where we are, man, especially that guy Trump. <laughs> And, uh, you're not gonna put that in there. Oh, hell yeah! That's going on YouTube, bitch! You, you know what I should do is uh, be a Mexican redneck <laughs> and, do, and do a YouTube shit. That, about that, that. You'd be really good at it. You'd do be really good at it. Shit. Maldonado. We'll jump out on a tree with six or seven other people. We, can, we, can, we, just, we'll, we just landed. No, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have, your YouTube channel will be Bubba Maldonado. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good name, I like that. <laughs> Bubble <Bubba. laughs> See, so if I was black, I would have been Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, Leroy. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, there you go. Now that's some Puerto Rican shit right there. <laughs> that's good enough. You should, duck should, duct tape should get it. Yeah, I just, as long as it doesn't cut through. I need to, where's the hammer? I need to flatten a few parts out. Yeah. I'm hitting everything except for what I need to hit. I guess you, there you, you go. I guess you didn't use it when you were a child, right? This is, <laughs> what? You didn't use it when you was a child. Oh, yeah, exactly. See, no, I'm Polish. This is how Polish people fix stuff. I'll just use the side of the hammer because I won't miss. <laughs> I You're still bringing miss. It back out. You're bringing it back out. <laughs> yeah, you're bringing it back out. We... There you okay. go. Here, hold on. Wait, let me. <laughs> there you go. Take a video of that. <laughs> Proper way to. <laughs> okay. I think that's fine. But so when you hit that, when you hit that, yeah. you're bringing it back out. Yeah. I think that's fine. That's not going to cut anything. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Ah, how many Polacks does it take to fix an airstream? Two Polacks and one Puerto Rican and one Mexican. <laughs> one Polack and one Puerto Rican. Okay. I think I got it. Let me clean it off. Nothing, that's good. Give me some duct tape and we're good to go. Because air is not going to go in inside there anyway. I'm not worried about air. I'm worried about when it's raining. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. When the road up. But... Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen my last video, the one that's called, uh, what the hell is it called? Off to Naples Swamp Buggy Races. That's how I screwed this thing up. But look at it. Just like new now. <laughs> <laughs> Redneck fix. <laughs> Redneck? That's, that's a Puerto Rican fix, dude. All right. It was your idea. Right. Tim, we just get it. Now, what are you doing? There you go. No, that's not even. In it? Budget? No, no. It's not. That's okay, dude. It's good enough. I, I just think, need to. I think it is. Yeah, I need to clean it off, get some duct tape ah, on there, and we're Let me get the go. chainsaw, cut this area right here. Well, Bert, Bert has that like rotary thing. I was gonna cut zzz, there, but then I don't know what's on the other side. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think there's anything on the other I side. I don't think there is. I think there's, there's well, there is some here. There's a pipe here. Yeah, that's it looks why. Looks like it's a pipe. Okay, see, that's why I don't want to cut anything. So, so for you to fix this, basically, might... what you gotta do is you drill these things out. Yeah. And there's screws here that comes out, and this section comes out. Right, right. And you could probably replace it. <coughs> if you can buy from Airstream, we could put it back in. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Or I just have duct tape. I'll just change the duct tape every couple of years. Yeah. This is, as long as it don't get water in there, that's, that's the main thing. I'll just put a note on my driver's uh, like side or whatever it is do not drive in rain. Or, so, don't, or don't back. Or don't back up over stumps? No, on stumps, yeah. That, that'd be a better one. Well, no, now that I screwed it up, now there's room to go over stumps. Actually, this shit is pretty damn low to go. It is. That's a, They have a three-inch lift kit for these things. 
Yeah, but you think oh, this shit is extremely low. I didn't realize how low this shit is. They are like very that. low. And we got the front end down. You we got fucking, the. You hear the fucking speed bump of this shit. That's the problem, exactly. Yeah, this is pretty damn low. Alright, I'm gonna clean it off. Okay. And then you take a, a knife and just cut it flush, and uh, oh. you could put duct tape and it'll be sealed for good. Oh, so Eric. Eric just gave me an idea of filling it up with foam. So he said, shove newspaper in there. Fill it up they with sell foam. It at, they sell it at Home Depot? Yeah, they sell it at Home Depot. They sell it What's it called? Like place. Foam. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you think it's called? <laughs> What's it called? Foam. I'm going to come back. <laughs> Let's go to Home Depot, talk to one of them guys that don't know nothing about Home Depot, and ask them what you want to do with it. Foam. Yeah, that, that foam is um, building department. Oh, okay. Yeah, just gonna and, build it. And you're right. And then I can syringe it into these areas or whatever. It yeah, is. and just cover it up. Just put newspaper so you don't have to use twenty, you know, twenty cans. And you could use one can. And it, I guess it doesn't matter if it if it gets into those wires or whatever. No, right? no, it, it just it's foam. It's liquid. It turns into foam. And can I take silver, uh, silver? Uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, what's that paint called? Spray paint. <laughs> Spray it so much. Well, it'd be better if you brush it. Brush or ro it? roll it, roll it, roll it better. Roll it? Yeah, roll it. Roll what? With the paint. Oh. What's that? I forget the name of that paint. What the hell? And is that you called? know what? They sell a they sell they sell um they sell a special tape for this kind of shit. That is is silver. You could ask them about it. It's it's like duct tape, but it, it, it's oh silver. It's like silver, yeah. It's supposed. To be. Okay, so you're thinking. Okay, so you're yes, thinking. The get the foam. The foam and duct tape will do it. Right? You won't oh, so I still need duct tape after that. Well, I would put it as, as, a, as a secondary precaution. Oh, okay. You know, what I mean, a little extra doesn't hurt. As long as you don't get water in there, you should be fine. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going Home Depot. Because the reason they um. The reason they put that cover there is because they didn't want it to get wet. <laughs> and we don't want shit leaking in our highways. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe That's fucked up. how I messed it up. Look what I got. Big gap filler. Up to three inches. Hey. <laughs> always use your safety glasses. It's very important to use your safety glasses. Your headphones. <laughs> you take some aluminum foil. No, we're not barbecuing. Are we gonna fill this object here with some aluminum foil? Is this how you make arepas? This is how we make arepas in Mexico, okay? You do it like that, you put aluminum foil. See, because this is aluminum and this is aluminum, it matches. And you put in there, you keep putting in there, you keep putting in there, you keep uh, uh, putting in there. And then see, and we need a little bit more over here so we don't use too much of the three inches because I have to do two houses with this one. Did you did you use the same instructions when you had your kids? Put it in there. Just no, put it in there, no, just the, put it in there? no, 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 no kids, no kids, neighbor. I send my wife to my neighbor. Let him do all the work. <laughs> I just do the maintenance. <laughs> Look at that, dude. When I bring this back to Airstream, and they're gonna see this. <laughs> okay. This is, this is, if you want this done, you have to take your, vehicle, your trailer to Jetstream, okay? I work at Jetstream. <laughs> this is only done at Jetstream, okay? Jetstream. Then you take this shit, and you put it here, and you press. Let me see how that works. I guess homeboy must have Oh my God, dude, that's so skinny, like. Yeah, that that's what she nothing. said, dude. Oh, there it goes. That's what she said, dude. Oh, wow. That's what she said, dude. Yeah. It's skinny. It's skinny, bitch. I'd make you five kids with my skinny dick. <laughs> huh? How about that? Oh my god, dude. dude this is. <laughs> Look at that. 
So this is insulation done by Jetstream customers only. Customer service. Okay? Go on the side over here. The, hold on the side. What's this? This side here. Oh, right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I lose my penis. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Motherfucker. We're going to have to do a lot of editing on this, on this video. With all the bad words. <laughs> okay, and now for a finish touching, for finish touching, you let that dry for six months. You cannot use your death cream for six months. Hey, you let that dry for six months. Can I push it in with my hands, like flatten it out, or no? No, no, you leave it like that. It's get hard, and then what you do? Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me... What you do is, is when it gets hard, you don't want this in your hand, bro. <laughs> Trust me. So what are you doing? I'm doing it because I'm Puerto Rican. This is not for white folks. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Here. Okay, I cool. want to fill the gap up there. Which one? That one right there. Right here. Let me have it. I can see where it's going. There it goes. God, you got to press hard. <laughs> That's what she oh, said. There you go. There you go. See the shit comes up. There you go. Here. Oh, dude, is it? This is sticky, man. On your hands. Yeah, man. Does it wash off? I no. I hope I don't have to pee. I'm f you're gonna have to hold it for me because <laughs> my hands are sticky. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, yeah. Yeah, it's sticky. I got some gas over there. I wash. Is it. that how you wash it with gas? Yeah, you know. you get a lighter. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. So what's the setting, dude? Don't touch. Don't put your hands in it anymore. It's too late. That's the guy. You gotta let that thing sit a couple hours. A couple hours. Yeah. Let it sit, and then you can take out a razor and cut it flat. Uh huh. And then you can put the duct tape and stuff on it. Oh my God. It's cool, huh? Huh. So you pay stuff to have a Puerto Rican around once in a while. <laughs> yeah, but I should have gave you gloves, dude. Dude, you know, I got like 20 pair of gloves in my truck. Perfect place for him. Right. Well, that's what they're supposed to be in the truck. <laughs> okay, All let's right. let it set. Let it sit, let it dry. What do you want to do? When you take your fingers and you put it like that, and then you can pull them apart, then you can come and see it's dry already, okay? That's how I know it was dry. I put my finger like this, and when I can't pull them apart, then I know this is dry. I come to repair this. All right? I'll see you on the next jet stream, okay? Jet stream. You remember, remember jet stream 800, go jet stream. <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom? No, um... Paul gonna have to hold my, my, my thing because my hands are sticky. <laughs> Dude, it is really sticky. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, you gotta leave it like that. Shit. Huh? See, now water won't go in there. You take a razor knife, a, a razor blade. I was gonna take this and then, oh, actually, hold on a second. There you go, fucking pull up with a brilliant idea. There you go, look, look. Right. Hold on, I need to put this phone down. I'm gonna go get it up. See, you, this is how you clean it. You weren't kidding when you used gas, huh? Yeah, Ooh, it comes up perfectly. I'll be careful now. Don't, don't pick the skin a little bit. Yeah, see? See, blood start coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you got a light? I quit smoking for the same reason. <laughs> okay. And, and then you use Clorox wipes? Clorox wipe. I usually used to wipe my ass with it. Disinfect it. 
Okay, so now it's a mixture of it's gonna it's gonna smell like a mixture of gas and and bleach. No, just no, just we'll go wash your hands with some soap. Look, injury report. Injury report. Oh, you cut yourself. Oh, that was earlier with fucking with those damn bushes or whatever. I'll put the hose on now and yeah, we'll get some soap. Um, fuck, where's my soap? I got. Let me go inside and get it. I have, I have some good shit here. What happened to it? I'll go inside and get it and bring it. Now out. I'm curious what it's gonna look like, and uh, and how this is gonna come out. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so what do you think? You guys think that uh, we did a good job? Well, it's been a few hours. Let's see what happens. Oops, still wet there. Damn it. A couple little soft spots because I guess the air is not getting to it. Whatever, no big deal. I'm gonna clean it off, uh, wipe it down, and uh, put some tape on there. There you go. I'll take it. All that gook that I was laying on, look at that. It's right there. <laughs> Damn it. I have the front end of the RV jacked up as much as I can just to take a look at this. So I planned on right here putting a jack and kind of pushing that up, but I don't know if it's a good idea. There's a water spigot right there in the in that metal. So I don't know if there's a tank in there or what, but I tell you, I fill it up and everything's working just fine. Okay, so I got that thing and the only wood I can find around here is that this might actually work look at this hold on a second can't get under there okay really it's okay it's not the end of the world I think I might be picking up the RV and not fixing that. <laughs> no, this ain't gonna work. Ah. This ain't gonna work. Ah. How about at least how about at least that piece that has that gap up there where water can get in?
I tried to push this piece up and <laughs> that didn't work. It's just that there's a space up there that I don't want water when I'm driving, filling that thing up. And I don't want to drill a hole through there because I don't know what the hell's on the other side of that. So as long as I don't hit a tire laying in the middle of the road or something, a blowout laying in the middle of the road, so far everything's working. I guess I gotta go with it. I'm gonna try that lowest part again one more time just to see if I can get it at least up higher. Oh well. Gonna have to go with it. I don't wanna crack anything that's inside up there. Just gotta stay away from things laying in the road. I just scooted this over to the other side because I wanna see if I can push that up a little bit. might have done something. Apparently not. Problem with this is that I have a few events I plan on going to and that's why I haven't taken it to the dealership. So that's my problem. Either way, these airstreams are so damn low anyway. damage is not really much lower than the normal airstream a bad job boy look at that they look good all right so don't make fun of me because that's down i'm not going anywhere the window's open uh that thing's open i'm not going anywhere i'm just kind of like looking how it rides when the golf cart's there i used to have a drop down hitch for the rv but when the golf cart's in there then um it was too low so when a golf cart's up there, then it drops the front of the RV down a little bit. And these damn airstreams are just that low. 